Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we discussed two of the coldest locations on Earth. In this one, we'll discuss both the hottest and the coldest locations in the United States. It might shock you but people do actually live in these places and have a lifestyle just like ours, with just a few amendments. Before we move on with the video, please like and subscribe to our channel, this will motivate us to make more wonderful content for you, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated on our next upload. There's no denying it. Alaska is one of the most beautiful places on Earth but also one of the coldest places. Alaska is the seventh biggest subnational division in the world and the largest US state by area, with a total area larger than the combined areas of the next three largest states, Texas, California, and Montana. It is the third most lightly populated state in the United States. The former capital of Alaska, Sitka, is the largest city in the United States by area, while Juneau, the state capital, is the second largest. The Anchorage metro area is home to around half of Alaska's population. Alaska has been home to indigenous people for countless generations, and it is generally accepted that the area served as the entrance point for the early population of North America over the Bering Land Bridge. In the 18th century, the Russian Empire was the first to actively colonize the region, leading to the establishment of Russian America, which at one point covered the majority of the present-day state. The state was also home to a great number of snakes which made living there that much more difficult. The US purchased this far-off possession in 1867 for US $7.2 million, about $140 million in 2021, due to the financial and logistical challenges of keeping it. Before being established as a territory on May 11, 1912, the region saw a number of administrative transformations. On January 3, 1959, it was admitted to the Union as the 49th state. With one of the smallest state economies, Alaska has one of the highest per capita incomes thanks to its abundant natural resources, which are mostly used for commercial fishing and the extraction of natural gas and oil. The economy is also supported by U.S. military installations and tourism. More than half of the state is made up of federally owned territory that includes national forests, national parks, and wildlife refuges. Alaska has all four seasons, unlike what you may have heard. While the summer season only lasts from May to August, it delivers mild, comfortable temperatures to the area. The southern and coastal regions of Alaska can also be cloudy with some rain showers throughout the year with average summer temperatures ranging from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees to 15 degrees Celsius. Freezing temperatures and heavy snowfall can make for a severe winter in Alaska. Much of the state is covered in snow all season long because the highs are consistently below freezing. Coastal locations have a warmer climate than interior places, where it can get down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. January is often Alaska's coldest month. February is the same as January in terms of temperature, even though they are slightly higher on average. Through outdoor activities like ice skating, cross-country skiing, and more, Alaskans take pleasure in the chilly winter months. Even the wildlife in Alaska has gotten used to the harsh winters. Uchavik, Barrow, one of the biggest Inupiaq villages in Alaska, is situated on the Arctic Ocean. It is one of the coldest places in the world where the lowest recorded temperature was minus 71 degrees Celsius. Living in Alaska gives the phrase, getting close to nature, a whole new meaning. You'll enjoy seasonal whale watching and occasional sightings of bison, caribou, mountain goats, wolves, and dull sheep in addition to living with the largest population of grizzly bears in the US. Although Alaska's isolation has a cost, it is responsible for much of the state's natural beauty. Almost everything must be imported into Alaska, which raises prices, particularly for groceries. In fact, Alaska has a cost of living that is around 28% more than the average for the country. Despite this, Alaskans are the most satisfied Americans with their standard of living. Long-term inhabitants also utilize their own expense tactics, such as hunting for food, 
buying in bulk at Costco's three sites in the state, and visiting farmers' markets. Living in Alaska has another advantage that lowers the impact of the high expense of living. You get paid to live there. You will be qualified for the annual permanent fund dividend once you have lived in Alaska for a full year and intend to stay there permanently. The PFD payout for 2022 was $3,284, though it varies every year. The fund was first established to set aside a portion of oil revenue for the benefit of present and future Alaskan generations. The average annual salary in Alaska is $63,798 just in case you need a simple salary calculator, that works out to be approximately $30.67 an hour. This is equivalent to $1,226 a week or $5,316 a month which is way above the average pay of the rest of the state. Although Alaska is more than twice the area of Texas, it has one of the nation's smallest highway networks. A staggering 75% of Alaska, including its state capital, cannot be reached by car. Therefore, to fully explore the state, you'll need either a boat or a plane. Remember that traveling between cities can be difficult. The majority of people travel using Alaska Marine Highway, a ferry service run by the state. Its Blue Canoes, as the ferry boats are nicknamed, travel 33 ports across a 3,500 nanometers route. To go where you need to go, you can also use the Alaska Railroad and air taxis. Now that we've talked about what life in Alaska is like, here are a few best places to visit. Homer, the fishing capital of Alaska, is situated on the Kenai Peninsula and is a gateway to several national parks. While visiting Homer, you may drive up Skyline Drive for breathtaking views, stroll along the shore to the famous Homer Spit, or go wildlife spotting in Kachemak Bay State Park, where you can see mountain goats, bald eagles, sea lions, humpback whales, and black bears. It's very common to go on day-long fishing trips, and you're almost certainly going to come away with an impressive catch that local restaurants will be happy to prepare for your meal. Denali National Park is among the most well-known and well-liked tourist destinations in Alaska. Denali National Park is a protected wilderness area where many kinds of wildlife can be viewed. It is home to the iconic and towering peak of Denali, also known as Mount McKinley, which is the country's tallest mountain. There are several ways to visit the national park, including hiking, whitewater rafting, and backcountry camping, but bus trips offer a climate-controlled and secure alternative. And lastly, the Northern Lights Tour. The Northern Lights season in Alaska lasts from the end of August to the end of April, peaking in March, but it's a season more noted for its long, dark evenings than for solar activity. The more distant northern villages of Coldfoot in the Yukon Territory, as well as Prudhoe Bay and Uchavik in the far north, are the best places to go if you want to increase your chances of seeing the northern lights. The further north you travel in Alaska, the more likely you are to see them. Phoenix, also known as the Valley of the Sun. To locals, is the capital city of Arizona and is located in the central region of the state. It is situated alongside the Salt River in the state's south-central region, 120 miles, 190 kilometers, north of the border with Mexico and halfway between El Paso, Texas, and Los Angeles, California. Phoenix and other close-by cities like Mesa, Scottsdale, and Tempe are all part of the Salt River Valley, commonly known as the Valley of the Sun. As a major hub for finance, communications, and transportation, Phoenix contributes greatly to the economy of the Mountain West area of the United States. People may know it for its year-round sun, desert beauty, and world-class resorts and golf, but it is the fifth most populous city in the United States, the most populous state capital in the country with 1.63 million residents as of 2022, and the only U.S. state capital with a population of more than 1 million residents with the median age is being 34 years old. In 2021, the GDP of the Phoenix metro area amounted to $261.71 billion. US dollars. This is a large increase from the GDP in 2001 which came to $150.33 billion. US dollars. 
Phoenix boasts a dry, warm climate that draws tens of thousands of tourists during the winter. The daily maximum temperature in the winter is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius, while between May and September, the summer highs are usually over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius. Almost all of the time during the year, it is sunny. Phoenix, unlike many other desert cities, also has a lot of warm nights with temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit making Phoenix the hottest city in the United States. Now you might be wondering how people live in this hot weather or how the day goes about. Phoenix is referred to as the Valley of the Sun, for a good reason. Each year, more than 19 million people travel to the metropolitan region to take advantage of the nice winter weather, shop till they drop, and eat at top-notch restaurants. But you may ask, is Phoenix a good place to live? Well, Phoenix has great job opportunities. With its small company job creation incubator and numerous co-working spaces, it serves as an excellent starting place for startups, independent contractors, and small local businesses. Phoenix's unemployment rate as of 2022 is 3.3%, which is lower than the 3.6% average for the country. Monthly local transit service passes cost approximately $64, Food and groceries are 1% lower than the national average and gas costs an average of $3.56 a gallon. Phoenix also offers access to some of the most flavorful regional cuisine. North of Tijuana, Phoenix is renowned for serving up some of the most genuine Mexican cuisines. On practically every corner, there is a taco truck or taqueria. Since many prefer to eat in the comfort of their vehicle's air conditioning, you'll also find a surprisingly wide variety of drive through restaurants. While these were some great reasons people live there, the outdoor activities and fun make the place even better. The largest municipally managed park in the country, South Mountain Park Preserve, is a refuge for outdoor enthusiasts to enjoy Phoenix activities. More than 50 miles of trails are available for hikers, mountain bikers, and horseback riders, and cyclists may test their stamina on the roads that wind up and down three mountain ranges. The park even limits cars from using its main road on silent Sundays, allowing hikers and bicyclists to enjoy the roads without the bustle of car traffic. Phoenix is also renowned as a golfing destination, with exceptional courses like Wildfire, Raven, and Legacy as well as the TPC course at Scottsdale, one of the finest anywhere in the country. Arizona's Cultural Center, where there are countless art galleries and museums to explore. The Heard Museum of Native American Culture, which houses a sizable collection of kachina dolls and skillfully woven baskets, is likely the most rewarding of all. You can also go to Taliesin West by Frank Lloyd Wright or the Hall of Flame Fire Museum to celebrate firefighting heroes. The Japanese Friendship Garden will take you to a real Japanese garden in the middle of Phoenix if you need a break from the desert environment. The Phoenix Desert is broken up beautifully and peacefully by this garden, where the Desert Botanical Garden preserves the native plants of the desert. The 3.5 acres have a koi pond with over 300 fish in it, a 12-foot waterfall, stone footbridges, lanterns, and a tea house where traditional ceremonies are held. It was developed as a result of a collaboration between Phoenix and Hemeji, its sister city in Japan. United States has some of the most extreme weathers but that doesn't stop people from living their best lives in these places. Like and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay updated on our recent uploads. Until next time, happy traveling!